Hello Indie Warriors! In my opinion, 2024 has been off to a really wonderful start in the indie scene, with the first quarter bringing us some truly exceptional titles. I thought it'd be fun today to highlight 10 of our favorite releases so far this year during the first quarter, and in no particular order. At the very least, we feel like all of these games belong on your wishlist. And hey, when you wish upon a star, your dreams come true, right? Why not help to keep independent content a reality? Head over to patreon.com slash idreamofindiegames. You'll gain Discord access to the greatest indie gaming community, early ad-free shows, shoutouts at the end of every video we produce, and even free games depending on the tier you select. Your new indie gaming community is waiting for you. All right then, let's get into it, and I should note that we have full reviews for every single one of these games that we're going to be talking about today linked down below, so be sure to check that out if you want to learn more about each individual game. So first up is Little Guardsman, which was a cute puzzle adventure that surprised a lot of people at the start of this year with just how good it was. The witty writing, adorable characters, and surprising amount of depth made Little Guardsman a winner. Great plot twists, multiple endings, and gorgeous art that kept players invested. You can also interact with over a hundred different characters who are trying to break your guard. Don't guard your wallets on this one, folks. It's a game many people slept on, perhaps due to the early January release window, which is a common dead zone in the indie scene, but it shouldn't be ignored. Following that, we have another excellent release this year called Anomaly Agent. This was a time-traveling action platforming title. Not only does Anomaly Agent have a really great sense of humor, it's a blast to play. You'll control Agent 70, battling your way through the past, present, and the future. He's the member of a task force which looks to bring down evil anomalies. Yes, the controls do take a little bit of getting used to, but the hilarious writing, enjoyable platforming, smooth animations, and one of the best indie game soundtracks of the year make this one a winner. So don't let it get lost in time. Check out Anomaly Agent for sure. Now I love a good throwback to the NES days, and Lords of Exile is an excellent one. With 8-bit influences like Castlevania, there's much to love with this release. In a world now full of roguelites and metroidvanias, Lords of Exile is more traditional. No random generated levels here, just pure classic gameplay that's very well executed on. Lords of Exile also introduces some fun new abilities like a downward thrust. Solid unlockable content in this one as well, and I even enjoyed the boss battles to my surprise. It's a little on the short side and kind of easy, despite the visual aesthetic, you might think it's going to be a tough game, but I was able to get through it with relative ease, however it does have good replayability to it, so I highly recommend checking it out. I'm going to take a guess that nobody really thought the most surprising and addicting game of 2024 so far would be a poker game, but it is. We're talking about Balatro. This one took the indie gaming scene by storm with its unparalleled addictiveness, unique deck synergies, and with the ability to keep players on their toes. Balatro has become something of a phenomenon, with gaming communities around the world shouting its praises. I should stress though, while Balatro certainly has poker elements and it will be helpful to know those rules, it's not entirely necessary and the game is so much more than that, so anyone can get into Balatro and really have an addictive fun time. Horror fans got a surprisingly sweet treat in March with the release of first-person psychological thriller Reveil. Taking place through a twisted circus, Reveil starts out pretty generic, but reveals itself to have a deep and highly entertaining story with a few unexpected plot twists. Reveil is also quite beautiful to look at, and was awarded the Golden Genie Lamp of Approval here on our channel. While the puzzles may not challenge you in any serious way, the story certainly will. A game that is well worth your time, especially if you love spooky circus things. But if you're afraid of clowns and all things circus, maybe think twice. Even better, Reveil has multiple outcomes, so it's worth going through more than once. Everything about Berserk Boy looked awesome leading up to its release, and it delivered with the final product if you ask me. This awesome mix of Mega Man meets Gunvolt features great platforming action, super awesome abilities to use, a very fun story here, and lots of replay value too. I expected to like Berserk Boy, but I didn't think it would be one of my favorite games of the year so far. That's what it is though, so if you've been on the fence, pick this one up if you're a Mega Man fan or if you just like action platformers in general. I would love to see more Berserk Boy in the future. Moving along is another surprising release that was back in March, not that long ago actually from this video. Terra Memoria dropped on the 27th, and I didn't have any real expectations for this game, I didn't know a ton about it going in, but Terra Memoria is actually a really good little RPG. 
It has these cool animal characters in it, which I know a lot of you went crazy for, for whatever reason some of you are into that thing. Okay, that's your business. But no, seriously, actually a fun story here. Lots of pretty addicting quests to take on too. And an engaging turn-based battle system. Makes this one a winner for sure. Add it to your wish list at the least. And I would recommend steering clear of the Switch version because a lot of comments have mentioned it doesn't run good on that particular platform. Seems to be just fine everywhere else if you have the option Go there. Pepper Grinder. Not really surprising here that this was a good game. It comes from Devolver Digital, of course, who are known for releasing great games. And Pepper Grinder is a really cool little action platformer. It has an emphasis on digging, which is something different. You burrow underground, collecting all of these little diamonds and fun stuff. The combat's actually halfway decent too. Great vivid pixel art. Not a Golden Genie Lamp winner here on the channel. A short little experience, but still a really fun one. Highly recommended that you check out Pepper Grinder. From Pepper Grinder, we'll go to by far the most surprising release for me personally this year so far, Mini Shoot Adventures, which is not the most compelling title. And you might look at this game and say, oh, that's just a generic shooter, but it is so much more. Mini Shoot Adventures is actually more Link to the Past meets Bullet Hell game. It plays really well too. So responsive. The dungeons are a blast to go through. There's a lot of collectible objects and stuff. If you want to 100% it, you'll get a good 10 plus hours out of this game, if not more. And I just found it super addicting, really well made, by far my favorite game of the year so far. And last, we're gonna speed out of here, but we have Yellow Taxi Goes Vroom, which was reviewed by our very own Barely Magic Mike, released this month actually at the time of this video, 4924. We got this really fun platformer, kind of an N64 style collectathon meets Crazy Taxi that works to surprising effect. It's zany looking, it's bonkers, it's fun, fun, fun though. And Barely Magic Mike actually awarded this the Golden Genie Lamp of approval as well. Seems like one of his favorite games that he's reviewed here at I Dream of Indie Games since he's been here. Super addicting again, really cool gameplay elements to it. Can't recommend Yellow Taxi Goes Vroom enough. Pick this one up and support really cool, unique indies like this, like all of the games on this list today. And thank you so much. I'd love to hear from you what are some of your favorite games from 2024 so far. It'll be great to hear more and more of your responses. I look forward to reading them in the comments below. As always, thank you for your support of independent content. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all those great things. And patreon.com slash games if you'd like to support us further. I will talk to you all very soon.